time pre-season starts Monday, you missed the last couple of rounds with a knee. How's your body You're going to start full training Monday? Yeah, I will. Yep. Um, straight back into it, transition fully in, do all the drills. And uh, yeah, body's feeling really good. Uh, knee's back to 100%, been running, doing doing all my program and um, everything. So yeah, really looking forward to it. You had a real breakout year last year and strung a lot of footy together, which you hadn't done before. How much confidence does that give you going into this pre-season? Yeah, it definitely gives you a lot of confidence going into the pre-season and then to the um, consecutive season as well. But um, for me, I'll be looking to improve my game where I can as well and uh, not resting on my laurels of last year and um, finishing off the, the season playing yeah, as many games as I can. There was quite high expectations on the team entering last season and we know it didn't pan out the way you probably hoped. What are you expecting going into 2016? Yeah, for sure. I think going into 2016, we'll hopefully have an injury-free list um, and then we'll just take it uh, week by week. We'll, we'll uh, attack the pre-season um, with our new fitness and conditioning coaches, um, have the new talent on board that we've got and, uh, yeah, look to, to take it from there and, and see how we go. So what will be different, do you think? What, what, why do you think you can improve next season? Uh, we've, yeah, we've obviously lost uh, a bit of talent with Charlie and Harley, but we've gained some in... Matt Rosa, um, Dan Curry and obviously Jared Grant. So I think they'll help our team with their versatility and, and the um, specific roles they play. And then like I touched on before with the new conditioning staff we've got on board, they've, I've, I met them uh, the other week and they seem really good and all the young boys are raving about them, which is um, a really good sign. So I think, yeah, we can take our fitness to another level, uh, obviously Rocket's game plan to another level and then, yeah, put that on, into practice on the field and, yeah, have a, have a much better year. I think it'll have a massive impact. He already has, and um, as I said before, the young boys uh, really rave about him, and they've only been there for a week and a half now. And um, yeah, when the older boys start back next week, I think they'll all be really looking forward to getting stuck into it and, and getting to know him. So yeah. Yeah, it was obviously sad to see Zach go. I was very close with him, but um, he's moving on to, to bigger and better things. And um, yeah, I'm sure he'll he'll do really well. And um, in his place comes Dan Curry, so it'll be um, yeah, it'll be massive uh, massive challenge for me. Um, yeah, it'll be a lot of competition for spots, obviously. And um, we've also got Keegan Brooksby there as well, who's who's a massive competitor as well. So yeah, I think internal will help us all, especially myself. We know there's a stack of years that sort of started together and come through together. Now you've lost Zach, Harley, Charlie. What do you think it'll be like? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Rory's the um, last inaugural son, I think. But um, yeah, it'll be a bit sad missing those blokes, those familiar faces and those really good friends that you make along the way. But um, as I've come to learn, you, you lose good mates every year um, to another club or, or whatever, and that's just a part of footy. So I think if anything, we'll grow from it. Um, we'll get in different characters, uh, different different footballers, and. Yeah, we'll grow from it and continue to improve on the field. Just back on Dan Curry for a second. How, how beneficial is it having someone with who's obviously very mature aged and um, experienced, even though he hasn't played a lot of AFL footy? Yeah, it'll be um, massive, massive for me. I mean, um, it'll keep me on my toes. I've, I've obviously got some, some new competition, um, just as, as it did last year with Keegan Brooksby coming in. Um, he, he set a massive benchmark in terms of training, as was Zach. He was a, a super athlete. So, again, it's just, it's just another level of competition for myself and for Dan as well, because obviously he's come from um, being behind the All-Australian Ruckman. So, um, yeah, to do what he's done uh, at, at North is, is credit to himself. And, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, for, to the challenge. And Matt Rosa comes on board as well, similar to Nick Nalchesi 12 months earlier with that experience and time in the game. How beneficial is that for the young group? Yeah, massive, mate. We, that's um, a, an area we're continuing to develop, our leadership, and, and Matt brings that in spades, so he'll add to the group, and the younger boys will just continue to improve and grow and, and become leaders themselves as we build our culture. So it's, yeah, all signs are, are really positive so far. Yeah, absolutely, and I think he'll be obviously disappointed that he that he got injured. Obviously, he couldn't do anything about it, um, and the kind of guy he is, as I said, he's really competitive, so he'll be looking to, to stamp himself uh, on the game, and yeah, we saw what he can do. He can take great marks, he can chop out in the ruck and play up forward, so yeah, it'll be an exciting season for him and many others, for sure. Hey, what sort of impact do you think uh, for a ruck and the no canning uh, sub and the rotations with limit change? You know, do you think that will impact your role? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it will impact everyone's role. And um, for Ruckman specifically, uh, we'll have to stay out there longer. So we'll have to obviously build our endurance um, and strength while we're out there. We won't be able to rotate as much. Uh, but in saying that, you love playing footy. So if it means more minutes, then yeah, I'm happy for that for sure. So you thri you'll think you'll thrive in that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, mate. It's yeah, better being out there than being on the bench. So that'd be good. And 
week. What have you been up to on the off-season? Uh, I've just talking to fish actually. I got away um, overseas for a couple of weeks with a few of the boys. So I went over to Europe. Um, and then, yeah, spent a couple of weeks in Melbourne and then I've been back up here for about a week and a half now, just getting back, gearing back into it and getting ready for the pre-season ahead in this beautiful, humid weather that's not unpleasant at all. <laughs>